Hey Power Appers, let's have some more fun with maps and SVGs in Power Apps. This is where we left off last episode. We had a map where we could select a state and it marks the state on the map. And today I want to bring more colors to your life. We want to color the states based on a category. We're gonna build this thing in the next few minutes. Let's get to the video. So I changed it a little bit uh, that it only shows the outlines of the state when you select it. And uh, the category that I chose for today is we have four salespeople and those four salespeople are each responsible for different states inside of Germany. And uh, we can change them right here from one to another. There's a patch command running that patches our SharePoint list with um, the selected value of this dropdown. I expanded our SharePoint list from last episode with another column for the salesperson. And what I also did is I added a little collection with our four salespersons and the colors blue, orange, green and pink. And uh, I also added them in hex code, what you see in this gallery are actually the hex code colors that I used. And now we want, um, for example, Baden-Württemberg is this selected state and we want this to be colored orange because um, Sabine is selected as a salesperson for Baden-Württemberg. And we want to have this for every state on this map. So what we're gonna do is we match the salespeople to our German states. And I have a refresh icon here and we're gonna put that command on this refresh icon. And as you perhaps have seen, I will trigger this refresh icon every time we're gonna change our salespeople in this dropdown. So we, what we wanna do is add another column to our SharePoint list. And we're gonna save that in a collection that's called call states. And yeah, we're gonna add another column that is called hex color. And we find the right color with a lookup command on our collection in our on start property. And we match the salesperson with the sales field in our SharePoint list. And from that we want the hex color. That should be it. Let's check it, run it once. And as you can see, we have another column here with the hex color and have different hex colors in here. What we now have to do is the marked line here are our 16, uh, our 16 states and the color, the fill color is here under fill is currently light gray. And we could change that up. You can use um, the words for the color, for the basic colors, but they look horrible. So I chose the four colors that you already saw. And we gonna do this by um, expanding our concat here with the hex color. And this of course doesn't work because I have the SharePoint list with, which doesn't have a column called hex color. But if we switch that up to our call states, which is the SharePoint list just expanded by the color column, 
Then we have this map of Germany with the different color for our four salespeople. And now let's check if the changes work. So we're gonna change um, Sabine in Baden-Württemberg to Hans and Baden-Württemberg now should be blue. And after a quick reload, it seems to work. Brigitte needs some more. So we give her Hessen and Rheinland-Pfalz and the Saarland and Sabine also gets Berlin. That's what I wanted to show you today. If the video helped you, please like, comment and subscribe. Don't miss the next episode where we want to color the states in different shades of one color based on a numeric field, not on a category field like today. <laughs>